Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, we will make the simulation and uh, search the tolerance settings in this video. Before uh, the simulation, we must uh, change the axis because in four axis, in this kind of four axis machines, Z is upside. So, Uh, X must be on cylinder axis and X must look up. I click OK and now I can uh, make the simulation. I switch to machine tool view, generic machine, retrieve machine from library, mill, and for axis vertical A table. Use part mount junction. X must lock on axis. Okay, and I must uh, make a distance for rotor table. I select the part and click OK. I delete the curve. I hide the curve. Click OK and simulate machine. You can see the post outputs from here. I click play and you can see that just X and A are working now there is a gauge but it's important I just wanted to show you the simulation you must I didn't uh, use a tool holder so the tool uh, seems so short uh, I want to say one more thing uh, after finishing the cutting moves, the transfer move is sometimes hard for rotor tables um, because it's a G0 uh, move and uh, it's, prob it's sometimes problem for rotor tables. Uh, make a control cut for, uh, for this move. Okay, it's all for simulation and let's check the tolerance settings. Uh, so the wireframe. You can see that uh, you can see these dots and uh, tool will make a uh, G, G1 move in between these dots and it is not very uh, very good for cutting so we change the stock and more millimeter dot one click OK and click generate As you can see, generation time is increased.
Okay, now check the tolerance again. You can see that uh, ten, nearly 10 times more points now. So your machine will move smoother. And we will have a you will have better surface quality. Okay, it's all for that video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please press like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe.